Good morning, Karen. How are you? I'm well. How about yourself? I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you for making the time to meet with me today. I am very excited to have you as part of our residency program with the Monira Foundation. And just to give a little introduction to um, to the context of why are we here today. Um, Karen Hakovian is the artistic director, principal conductor, and founder of Pegasus the Orchestra. We are currently here today because, um, Karen, you are in the process of recording your fourth season. Um, the fourth season is being presented by the Monira Foundation, and it is at Mana Contemporary through your current residency with the Monira Foundation. And we are recording it, right, because we are in this new situation of the COVID reality. So I wanted to ask you, how is COVID or how has COVID impacted your, your plans for the upcoming season? Of course, well, it's so wonderful to be here, Isabel, and uh, we're so excited about our new residency. It's, it's it's a new beginning, you know, even though it's our fourth season, it's completely, you know, new beginning to us. And, um, you know, with COVID, of course, in this whole situation, we had, it's put certain restrictions and limitations for all of us. So we had to get creative with uh, our programming um, and think of what's the way to, to have a fulfilling full season. You know, it's actually going to be consisting of nine concerts. Uh, but at the same time, you know, keep the size very small and, uh, and you know, make it work. So it's, it's safe and secure, and, but also exciting at the same time. And uh, we're so pleased because with this new wonderful space that you've created for us, which, you know, it's, it has the acoustics of a performance space, but also feels like a recording studio in a sense, which is Great. perfect for a digital season. Um, you know, we, we are able to do these nine concerts, which is a free piano, uh, one orchestra and five chamber. And the beauty of this season is that it's uh, very much aligned with Pegasus's uh, core mission, which is to highlight our own musicians. Right. And uh, we've been doing that throughout uh, our first few seasons, but this season I think we are really focusing on that, where, uh, you know, through all the chamber concerts, we will be really highlighting all of our principal players. Wonderful. And, uh, and you know, they, and they all have their own unique voices. They all have solo career, chamber career. So they are all. Uh, this really brings out um, the interesting collaborations uh, within the group. Definitely. And also, of course, we have uh, a few star performers joining us. Um, uh, we have Vyacheslav Gryaznov, who is a award-winning, uh, well-celebrated, actually, a worldwide uh, transcriber. You know, he, he writes so many fascinating transcriptions. And maybe we can talk a little bit more later about the, each of the programs. And we have Isaac Karepanova, who is also another rising star, you know, in the, in the, in the piano world. Um, and we have the 2007 um, International Tchaikovsky Competition gold medalist, Segi Antonov, who is a fantastic cellist, also wow. joining us. That's super exciting. Thank you. It is. So, yes, why don't we speak about, you know, each one of the programs. You are sitting in front of the harpsichord, yes. which um, I believe is very much the protagonist of the first program, right? Yes. So tell me about it. Yes, absolutely. So the whole program, you know, I feel like we created this interesting link, you know, Bach to Bach. You know, I've always had this fascination with his music, and I think, who hasn't, who doesn't, you know, every, <laughs> pretty much everyone does. And what's, what's interesting about his music is that it's, every time we perform it, 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 you know, it has so much, it roots so much room for creativity that we can, you know, we, we can do so much with it, you know, it's, it's, it just never gets, gets old. And so, it, uh, with our first program, which is called Baroque Reverberations, uh, is tied to our last cons program, the season finale, which is Bach's Brandenburg Concerti, where we go fuller size uh, of, of a small orchestra. Great. And uh, both programs obviously are using a harpsichord. Um, and so this is where we feel like technology gets to meet tradition, where in the first program, for instance, is for harpsichord, uh, violin, and flute. And our principal violinist, Edson, he was playing on a, on a violin, uh, of a Baroque violin with a Baroque bow, while um, 
I get to play on this digital harpsichord, <laughs> and our, our principal flute is Kaori, she, she's playing on a modern flute. So, and uh, the beauty of this instrument is that while it has the rich sound of the traditional harpsichord, it has, you know, with a push of a button, you can switch from <laughs> the Flemish to the French, you know, for instance, where you would have to have a separate French harpsichord or a separate Flemish harpsichord, and has all these capabilities of adjusting the, the color and the tone and the different temperaments, you know, and it just, it just makes, gives so much more creativity, you know, to, to being able to have an instrument that, you know, even within the movements, I can, you know, change the, the tone or the setting and that it adds so much to that. And I, I have a feeling that if someone, you know, like Bach was alive today, you know, he, he would be thrilled with this technological <laughs> advance as well. I think uh, um, it's very nice that you're mentioning this because one of the main cores at Monira Foundation it is definitely the experimentation between not only art and technology, but of course between art and other um, disciplines, right? So to hear that for you in the music realm, you're introducing technology in such an ease, it's, it's very rewarding for us. And to know that the residency is being used to do such an experimentation, it's wonderful. Thank you. Yes. You want to tell me a little bit more about perhaps other yes, of course, other, uh, other programs. So the the second program is part of our piano series. It's called Transcriptions and Transformations right. uh, with our guest artist Vyacheslav Gyasnov, and it's it's really a special program because the, he will play the monumental Liszt transcription of Beethoven's First Symphony, but then he goes on uh, in the in the rest of the program playing his own transcriptions of so many gems uh, that you know we. Uh, that have never been heard before actually so it's it's you know I don't want to give too much away it's right. lis listeners are <laughs> quite you know in for quite a treat you know to get to hear so many of these unique transcriptions um, the third program and the fourth program they're sort of tied together the third one is called folk inspirations mm -hmm. it's for clarinet piano and violin our concert master Eiko will be playing the violin and our principal clarinetist uh, Moran will be playing the clarinet and um, um, the folk inspirations is really focusing on uh, folk inspired music, you know, from anywhere from, you know, to Spanish to, to Armenian to Romanian to, you know, just it, it, you go on, a, a listeners will be going on a little journey with us. Beautiful. <laughs> including, <laughs> now uh, that we cannot travel. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> including the, the Kachaturian Trio, which is rarely played, but it's just such, a, such an exciting piece. And the, sec the fourth uh, stream is called Mostly American. Um, and also with the same performers uh, for clarinet, violin, and piano. And in this program, we have uh, some of the really great masterworks of Bernstein, you know, Gershwin, you know, the different arrangements, and and so many other composers. So it's it's really uh, a, a great program too, you know, celebrating some of the great American composers. Um, the that will be followed by our fifth program is uh, featuring Isaac Korepanova, the, the pianist I was mentioning earlier, who's really fantastic. And it's an all Chopin program. Uh, and um, it's very pleasing, of course, to the audience. But also, she's managed to add a world premiere uh, of never been done, one of never been done Chopin's works, you know, which is her own transcription. Wonderful. So that's, that's going to be a surprise to, to all of us. What a treat. Definitely. And followed by uh, the sixth program, which is um, Schubert's Trout, uh, which I'm particularly excited about to play with our string principles. Uh, and in the same program, uh, we've added a composition of mine called Crasses Noster, which translates to Morobi Hours. And this work is sort of supposed to, uh, you know, challenge and provoke some, some thoughts, you know, and feelings in the listener about you know all the possibilities of what the future holds and what it could mean and it's uh it, it goes through a lot of uh, complex uh places and and also another interesting thing about this is i wrote this in with the mind uh, with, the, with the mindset that even though it's for a chamber group it's a sextet it it imitates an orchestra so with pegasus we very much like to play with uh, either scaling down large orchestral works or taking smaller works like this and making it uh, imitating a larger orchestra, so vice versa, uh, just to show the, 
right, just to show the versatility of the group. And so I brought this specifically for Pegasus in mind, actually. The, the next program is with our guest artist, uh, Sergei Anton, of the, the gold medalist of the Tchaikovsky competition. And we will be playing together Rachmaninoff's beloved cello sonata, which will be the centerpiece of the program. And it's, it's just one of my personal favorites. It's, it's absolutely a stunning piece. Uh, we are very excited to have him join us. And then it will be followed by a program called um, Beethoven's Appassionata. And it's his, you know, we sort of missed his 250th birthday. I mean, we didn't miss it, you know, it was last year, but because <laughs> I think we had, you know, we had so many concerts planned ourselves, which had to be postponed, um, including one right here, you know, uh, called Two Stars, where we were planning to do his seventh symphony. Right. So I felt like that we needed to have at least one program Some in this sort season. sort of an element. Yes, to celebrate him. And Wonderful. it's an interesting uh, program because I will open with Corigliano's Fantasia on an ostinato, which is actually, uh, inspired by Beethoven's Seventh Symphony Slow Movement, which everyone, everyone will recognize. But it's such a unique take on it. It includes even some improvisations that the pianist is supposed to do on the spot <laughs> as performing. Great. Followed by, of course, his Appassionata and some other works. Um, and we will finish our season finale with um, Brandenburg Concerti, <laughs> my favorites, um, three of my favorites actually. That. And they, they each have an interesting element. The versatility of these works, uh, what's so great about them is that they were often done with different size of orchestras as well. So in this case, you know, we really scaled it down to a very small group, but I feel like it will bring a new light to these works. And also it's, it's not so too much uh, out of tradition. Right. In Bach's time, they would often do this as well. You know, right. It wasn't there, it had to be a full-size string orchestra to perform. His Brandenburg. <laughs> Great. Charity. So it's like a, a take on the old um, tradition. Sure, you know, definitely. It's wonderful. And then the very exciting part is because it's such a di it's a digital season is that whoever gets to join with the ticket has access to the the concert for yes. for two weeks, right? Which yes, definitely. In a different scenario, yes, you would have been present at the concert but once it's over it's over so now the the audience will have the the possibility to have that concert available to them for two weeks which is a very nice um think absolutely yeah and, and it's you know and it's so wonderful that monira has created this welcoming you know virtual stage for us to be able to connect with our audiences yeah. we are very fortunate to have uh Yamaha Concert Artists, Artists Services of New York to have their exclusive sponsorship uh, of not only this season but in general. So we are, we are very grateful to have that. So most of our concerts that involve piano will be um, with this taped. great yes, it will tape with piano. With this great CF3 Yamaha yeah. Concert Grand. And important to say also your talents, right? And I mean the fact that you mm -hmm. are one of our educators in the in our educational program and part of our ongoing series of you know um, sharing some of this knowledge to our with our local um, schools and communities so thank, thank, thank you, you very, very much we are very excited about that portion you know we can get can, cannot wait to to get more immersed in that yes part. yes 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Isabel. You're very welcome. Looking forward to the season and uh, to our collaboration. Thank you. <laughs>